Our first guest is a four-time Emmy-winning actor who drinks wine from a jeweled goblet like nobody's business, and his new movie is called Cyrano. Good night. Wait! I could no more stop loving you. I could no more stop loving you. Then I could stop the sun rising. Then I can stop the sun rising. Really? My cruel love has never stopped growing in my soul. From the day it was born there. From the day it was born. There. There. Cyrano opens at theaters next month. Please welcome Peter Dinklage. Hey, Peter. How are you? Oh, Peter. You'll be happy to know. You're getting a standing ovation right now. Um, he's not oh, here, thanks. he's at home. <laughs> I'm so sorry <laughs> that I'm home. It's sort of this strange time we're all living. We we all are now existing from here up. Yeah, it's I know. I think uh, you did the right thing. I think it's the safest. You live in New York. You're there. Are, is the family? Um, are they kids back in school, or how's that going? Yeah, they 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 are. Well, you know, we're all having PTSD from the time where they all weren't in school, and yeah. we we're all sort of uh, learning how to be teachers at home. Um, but, uh, no, they, they're, they're, the schools, at least here in New York and hopefully other, where, other places in America and elsewhere have really, uh, uh, made great strides in adapting to the new world we're living in. Yeah. Were you, I would assume you were getting a little stir crazy with the kids there. What do you do when you're home alone? Just, you have the house to yourself only. I zoom. I zoom into talk shows. You do? Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. It's like the fake talk shows that me and my friends set up. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it really brought in, you know, it, it made us, you know, question our own existence, didn't it? And all the, all the free time we had at home uh, for the last couple of years. But no, uh, everything's good. I knew I existed. I just didn't know why. I just yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> right. like, yeah. Like, what right. is going on here? The days are just rolling into each other. And um, But I will say, one thing I have missed about doing these like COVID interviews over, um, over the, you know, the web is- It just feels very retro now, because it, it's starting to come back, but I brought the retro yes, Zoom interview it's back. Coming back. But I do like seeing inside people's houses. Like I'm looking at the back there, I see like a little right. rectangle on your wall and maybe- What's behind that door? I, I don't, who, who knows? There could be a dragon oh, behind that door. <laughs> kind of creepy. It'd be cool if you open that door and like a million of those goblets from the show um, tumble out. <laughs> you have any of those? Did you hang on to any of those things? My daughter wanted to run in in a hockey mask and freak everybody out. <laughs> yeah, too much. You know, this movie, Cyrano, you first played Cyrano on stage. Uh, it was, I assume, on Broadway. Oh, thank you. No, yes. it, was, it, was, it was down way off Broadway. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I'm not the first person to do the part of Cyrano on stage or on film. I certainly won't be the last person, but it's a great role um, uh, f for a reason, you know. For me, it sort of always was, though, um, you know, me personally, a handsome actor and a fake nose. And that's sort of, I thought, you know, what's he going off about? But uh, what we did is we got rid of the nose and we added some beautiful songs from the band, The, Nat the National. Um, so we added a sort of a fresh spin to the whole classic tale. You're singing in this and you're rapping in it too. Would you say it's rapping? It's kind of a like a... Well, back, I mean, it's set in the 1600s, so they didn't have the word rap yet. It was sort of like poetry spoken aloud, like like poetry slam. Right. I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, that basically predates rap and that's what rap, you know, is born from with a beat, um, but we, uh, yeah, for lack of a better word, I definitely rap. I didn't know you, I did not know you sang and did that kind of stuff. Neither did I. <laughs> I did, I, you know, for a long time, I, I still don't know if I can act. Um, <laughs> you just gotta, you know, you just, hey, you know, what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're just taking risks. Like if it's a karaoke, if there's a karaoke night going on, will you, like, you grab the microphone? What And what is your song if you do? Oh, Love My Way by the Psychedelic Furs. Oh, really? Oh, well. Or, or Pretty in Pink. Oh, you know, wow. The, the somber, sort of melancholy, lovelorn songs are, are my jam. I cannot sing like Axl Rose or Freddie Mercury, so 
you got to go the uh, the crooner ballads. The um, <clears throat> movie is I well I'm assuming you shot the movie in Italy because it's absolutely beautiful. And where in Italy yeah. did you shoot the movie? We shot uh, in Sicily, uh, primarily in a town called Noto, Sicily, uh, which is beautiful. I mean, it was the pandemic, so it was pretty much shut down. Yeah. Um, you know, you go to a place like Italy, and when all the restaurants are closed, it's a little disappointing. But there was oh, uh, the restaurants were closed. Oh no. Yeah, but there was one place, a couple places that were open, and one was a cannoli place called uh, Mangio Fico. And as much as we were all trying to stay in shape, this cannoli place, it was the greatest cannoli I've ever had. And, really? And I highly recommend, if you go to Noto, Sicily, go to Mangio Fico, and wow. it's the, what the Italians say is the, the greatest cannoli. Oh, I love, I love a cannoli. You know what a cannoli is, Guillermo? Yeah, those are like sweet bread, like this. No, a cannoli is, <laughs> no. It's a, it's a circular, uh, it's a tube. Uh, it's like yeah. a, a hard, crispy pastry. And inside is a sweet cream. And uh, so they put chocolate chips or pistachios or whatever in it. And there's a whole store that just sells cannolis. Uh, the, the greatest, in, the best in Italy. Oh my God, that's That was right behind where we were shooting every day, basically. I was cheated out of cannolis on Christmas Eve because we had to cancel our dinner because of this stupid COVID. And normally that's the one time of the year that we'll order the cannolis from like Ferraras and Brooklyn. And oh by the way, God. New York has great cannolis. You're telling me these are even yeah. better. Yeah, no, it, but it's Sicily. It's the, the birthplace, so <laughs> no better. That does make sense. Yeah, they, 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 if yeah. they invented the cannoli, they probably have it down pretty well. And you shot yeah. this movie, uh, one of the scenes, a battle scene is on a mountain. And yeah, it's not a mountain, it's an active volcano. Okay. It was truly an active volcano. Most people run from an active volcano when the lava's flowing. We, we went towards it and shot a movie on the side of it. Now, when you say an active volcano, you, you're not kidding around. This is the one that like no. erupts a lot. She, 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 her name is Etna as the people of Sicily call her, they have a good understanding with her. They, they have a deal made with her because as you drive towards her, the, the, the top of her, we shot at about 12,000 feet, very close to, to, to her edge. And there's an old uh, convent on the road up there. Um, and all the nuns about 200 years ago were inside praying when the lava was flowing down. And you see the old lava stone, it goes right around the convent. And because the nuns were in there praying, the, the Etna, she spared their lives. So they have a group, since then, they've had a great understanding uh, and, a, and, a, and sort of a deal made with her. But about, um, you know, we shot up there and they say what you, you, you don't have to worry about the lava because that flows very slowly. You got to worry about the earthquakes. So we sort of were concerned about that. Yeah, and sure. That seems like a... I got to show you this picture, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. About a week after we wrapped... I said she erupted about 50 times this past year, but about a week after we wrapped, this is the town uh, Catania at the foot of it where we lived while we were shooting there. This happened. Whoa! Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. She's erupting. Yeah. <laughs> wow, fried cannolis for everyone. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, that's what I love what I do. I love what I do, because what other gig you get to shoot on the side of an active volcano? Well, it is great to see you. The movie is called Cyrano. It opens in theaters everywhere next month. Peter Dinklage, everybody. Thank you, Peter. Stay safe. We'll be back with Fortune Feimster. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.